Hello, and welcome to Hooverville 101, a BH and JS production. During the Great Depression, many families lost their homes because they could no longer pay their mortgages. In the end, people had to sell their land just so they could pay taxes. As the number of homeless people increased, people started to sleep in parks and on streets. These people would use newspapers as blankets to protect themselves from the cold. Newspaper blankets were often referred to as Hoover Blankets. As more homeless people started to gather, they began to build shanty towns in major cities around the country, such as New York and Washington, D.C. These shanty towns were later named Hoovervilles after President Herbert Hoover. Hoovervilles were constructed on tar paper, glass, lumber, cardboard, tin, and any other materials people could manage to salvage. Unemployed masons would use cast-off stone or bricks to build their home. Veterans set up Hoovervilles along the banks of the Anacosta River in Washington, D.C. President Hoover sent in Douglas MacArthur to, ex to evict the Bonus Army. MacArthur's men set fire to the camp and used bayonets with tear gas to drive away the veterans. The longest lasting Hooverville was in Seattle. Its largest Hooverville on the tidal flats adjacent to Port of Seattle lasted from 1932 to 1941. Towards the end of the Great Depression, many Hoovervilles were destroyed up until 1941, when the last Hooverville in Seattle, Washington, D.C., was burned to the ground. Created using Powtoon.